Hello everybody and welcome back to Operation Logistics where our inter-world hex pathfinding is broken in a spectacular fashion. I'm going to go ahead and revert this back to row and column being I and J. There we go. But as far as this goes, there's no reason it should be looking in this world hex ever at all. Realistically speaking. So I think what we've got going on here is a fundamental breakage in our connective tissue between our world hexes. That's the theory I'm working on anyway. So let's go ahead and pop right on into our world hex here and take a quick look at what's going on here. We've done this several times already and it seems like it should be working. New building dot location dot building hex dot add. I am hexes I dot neighbors. Yep, 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 yep. That should all be working just fine. Except. Why are we in biome hex 26 here? This should be biome hexes. I. Right? Or just I, actually. Because that, that's the biome hex that we're currently in, right? I believe that's what we're looking for. So let's uh, just replace the 26 here with I. Well, no, that would give us our current hex. The reason those are there... I'm gonna... What is... Hang on. I was hitting Control X, not Control Z. I'm putting that back because that is actually correct. We do want it to be in Biome Hex 26 because that would be the one that's directly on the opposite side. We have that hard-coded. Okay. So, case 10, let me just, uh, let me just divide this screen here. Unity is this one. Okay. Case 10. If I can get this toolbox closed. There we go. So we are in hex 10, which is, of course, this one. And we are then looking up here at hex 26. So we would need the hex that is... Let's see here, with the zigzag. If up hex, row column plus one. I think this is fundamentally wrong. Because when we're building with the row I mean but the thing is it might not be row minus one column plus one I think what we need is more information on whether this is fundamentally wrong or not Let's go into our Let's see, where was that? <laughs> I've completely forgotten. Building hex? No, I think that was in hex manager. Yes. Let's let's take a look at this and let's let's say I want to get a list of all of the neighbors and I want to output all of the neighbors. Essentially. Now, that's going to output what? At, at most six? Seven? So I, I don't think we need this information anymore. What I want to do is when we're doing get building by index here, I want to go ahead and output something along the lines of this debug.log and I want to put in 
current world hex zero. This is of course going to be a string dot format. So string dot format. Current world hex zero. Neighbors. And then essentially I want to do one. I don't know if I can do this the way I want to, but what I want to do here is put in get world hex by index. I don't care about doing this efficiently right now. We're going to be removing this anyway. Indices dot world hex. And I mean, that's pretty fast anyway. And then we want to do hex index. And then essentially, I just want to put in the entire contents of the neighbors of that world hex, which is something that I'm not convinced exists. So how do we get that? I mean, we've got the get building neighbors. So we could do something like a list int neighboring world hexes. And then something along the lines of iterating through every single building hex within that world hex and then checking to see if any of its neighbors are not within the world hex and then adding that to the list if it's not already on the list. A little complicated. But uh, so it would need to be something like for each building building in. And this would need to be get world hex by index indices dot world hex dot biome hexes dot well we'd need to do first for each hex store biome hex in get world hex by index like this and then we'd need to do a second for each building building in biome hex dot buildings if ah, we'll need to do another for each for each <laughs> uh, building building in build it uh, I'll just call that building B in building dot neighbors Then we would need to do an if statement here. If this is getting really, really intense here, but if we have a b dot location dot world hex that is not equal to indices dot world hex. Actually, that's not how this works at all. Um, yeah. Yeah, that would work fine. If it's not equal to indices dot world hex and not neighboring world hexes dot contains b dot location dot world hex, then what we need to do. Oh, yeah, we need to initialize the list equals new list int. Then what we need to do is we need to say neighboring world hexes dot add b dot location dot world hex. That will get us a list of all of the world hexes that neighbor this world hex. So we'll be able to see this world hex and the neighbor world hexes. The real question is, in a string dot format, can we output each index of the list individually by doing like neighboring world hexes and uh, this needs to be in the string dot format that'll help okay I'm gonna look this up real quick string dot format list how to format a list of strings blah 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 this is what language is this this is in Java no I want C sharp that would help. Formatting strings, blah, blah, blah. 
but I want to put in an array as an argument. You can convert int array to string array to pass it. It is possible to pass an explicit array for a params argument, but it has to have the matching type. String.format has a few overloads, of which the following two are in interesting to us. String params object and string object. In your case, treating the int as object is the only conversion that works. So I think we're going to need to do, like, two array. I don't think it'll work with a straight-up list. Like that. I don't know if that'll actually work or not, but uh, we're going to find out. So that should give us some interesting information. I don't know if it'll give us exactly what we need to sort this out or not, but it'll get us another piece of the puzzle for sure, assuming that that string.format actually works, which would be handy if it did. I'm not necessarily holding my breath. And what will it separate it with if it does work? Anything? How do I tell the difference between 606 and 60 and 6? I don't know. We may have to just concatenate together a string. I mean, it's not the end of the world since we aren't planning on doing this for long. If this doesn't work, I'll just concatenate it. Not the end of the world. Okay. We'll see if it works. If it does, great. If it doesn't, we'll concatenate. I don't want to buy that road. There we go. Demolish this guy. Root management. Create root. Bam. Select that guy. Off we go. We are going into the neighboring world hex of this one. And uh, I don't want the console here. You can, uh, you can go away. Let's... Uh, Go into edit root mode. That's what I what I wanted to do, and I wanted to go here. Stack overflow exception. Really? X manager line one thirty three. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I kind of understand why it decided that it just didn't feel like doing that. That makes sense. Triple layers of four reaches is kind of insane. But yeah, I think the reason that it stack overflowed is because the building might think itself one of its own neighbors. Let's find out. If building.neighbors.contains building debug.log it thinks it's its own neighbor its own neighbor neighbot apparently typing is hard <laughs> this is uh, the 12th episode I have recorded today I, I feel like I'm starting to deteriorate well, let's try this again, and this is the last episode that I'm planning to record here, so uh, I'll be back at this fresh tomorrow. Let's go ahead and clear the console, run this once more, and see if we get any debug errors here. Which would be handy, to be sure. Come on. But hey, at least we got the interbiome uh, stuff working pretty recently. That's nice. So we'll go ahead and purchase this land and demolish this land and create a root. Nope. Create a root as we normally do. Select the root. Head back out. Zoom in so we can see where our root is. Oh. 
I do not see our root. Do you see our root anywhere? Oh well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna go in here. Edit root. Bam. Stack overflow exception. Instantly. Okay. If building.neighbors.contains building. So, yeah. The stack overflowing here. Interesting. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here, and I am going to go take a nap or something. Not program for a while. <laughs> uh, I will come back at this fresh tomorrow, and I'm sure I will solve it pretty quickly at that point. See you all then.